right, so we just got up here to one of Stump's jobs. Uh, they, I apparently just started it. But I, I didn't realize that uh, he had the light duty high and wide track frame on his John Deere there. So, uh, well, I guess for around here, it's, it's actually a pretty big machine. But uh, it's going to make it extremely light. Would be, I mean, it'd be a shovel oven full. This is what I wanted to see. Oh my. Oh my god, that is so. Especially for this application, the hardwood. Even even what I what what I would do. One of those would be so neat. Oh, ten loads. <laughs> hey, this is Alex. Alex, it's, hey, it's welcome Jake aboard. Kramer. It's his brother. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, why can you tell? I can. When a, a saw a log has been cut by a handsaw or by a process. Why can't I? Tell? Why? Because the curve Because the curve's bigger and it makes it more. They step up out of the way here a little bit, get a little bit of video, see what's going on. Uh, so yeah, this is absolutely going to be <laughs> um, most of the videos of any teaching. <coughs> has been absolutely the other way so and I have absolutely no experience in this style of hardwood so uh, it is it's gonna be neat this is gonna be this is gonna be great oh, we're gonna uh, oh lord yes it is now you guys won't be able to see it because I am not getting close enough but <laughs> yeah this tree oh tree is absolutely full of of honeybees and honey so they won't uh, cut that one gotta save our environment people come on and stunts getting ready to uh, he just took the bucket off of Kim gonna put the head on I spent a few minutes on her and just sped, spread a little bit of rock there. Oh well, yeah, we're gonna put that head on and uh, go fall on some trees. My big camera. Oh, I love it. I yeah. absolutely love it. That was brilliant. I did all that. I forgot that. Set your. Yeah. That's what happens when I bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Right. So anyway, are you filming right now? Yeah. This dial here. That's this. What what this does is it sets you. See. See that white line? Yeah. So I mean, my old one, I got another chair, well, I guess another job. It's got an electric rig in it, but I just got the porta power ramp for this one, which it works all right. So oh, okay, work I it. see, I see. So what you do is you set this. You know, there's a chart here. Right. It's pretty. It's like it's like hose for dum dums, but it tells oh, you all okay. the different color dyes. It tells you your approximate setting, 2.2 on your depth, right? And right. Then, uh, and then what you do. You know, you close up your quarter power pumper up, and uh, this is where the electric one's a little nicer, but this works. You don't need no power, really. The only reason right. Kurt had the power on is for the... Uh, Cut the hose. Yeah. The full crimp, so I gotta let that down a little bit. Oh, okay, yeah. And then once that, then make sure your dies are straight down in the thing there, and then just give her hell. And so 
this dial, that'll yeah, when reset it, when, and when it hits it, it'll, it'll push it up, and you'll, you'll see it in a second here. You can get a, get a video of it. It's got like a white line on it. When it like I said, the electric one's great. Right, yeah, it is. <laughs> right, brings it right up. This one I did. They, I, I actually went with Goodyear on this stuff. They gave me all the presses and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, as long as I buy through them. Wow. But they're making money on the product. Yeah, too. because yeah, the press but, is is what the biggest yep. cost is, right? Yep. Yeah, new. They're probably with the electric pack on it. They're probably about twenty-five, twenty-eight hundred bucks. Oh, whoa. see that, that, that white line coming up right now? Wait, look. Yeah. Right here. Oh, okay, I see it now. Yeah, yeah, right here, right. But that would be pretty good. I mean, it's it's an approximate, but right. We can, we can mic it, but I'm not even gonna bother because it's always pretty damn close. I'm trying to do this without getting high. God, that's slick. Yep. Yeah, that's so, way slicker. Then you, uh, well, it's pretty easy, affordable and easy. Yeah. Well, it's got, your, it's got your settings right here. Uh, your, uh, your, it's one three oh seven. The battery's dead in this, but we can still check it. It's pretty damn close. Three one three one three. Yeah, just over. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's good. But that, my little battery is dead in that digital camera. Now you get your, uh, when you get your uh, next fitting here, I always give her a little bit of lubrication. And I would like to see, like, I'm going to want that right about there is where it's on all the way. Right. Make sure it's on all the way. Sure beats running to town. Yeah, that's uh, you know way slicker than yeah. losing a half a day. Yeah, for by the time you, know, you some, drive to town and get, oh, it, get yeah. back. How many hoses might you destroy in a day? We go through a lot of them, unfortunately. You know? And it seems like it does just that. You can go months. Yes. And then hose, yes. hose, then hose, hose, sudden, hose, yep. hose. Yep. Yeah. I don't think I ever get quite months, but weeks. Yeah. Or, or at least days. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, so we got all our different size hoses in here. Probably right. Maybe organize a little better. But, and then all of our yeah. fittings up in these boxes. I like that how you got yeah. that blocked off yeah. so that yeah, traveling. Yeah, you take these off. You don't end up drawers. with the, And then a chain grinder. Yep. Grinder for like a torches back Torches. There. Fire Heck yeah. Sure. Well, hopefully we won't have to worry about no fire extinguishers no, out here. I don't think you will. <laughs> Once in a while we get a fire in a machine. I keep them in there, because, you know. Yeah, see, watch right here. A little, that little dial will pop up when she comes up. Now on the, on the other one, Let's see here it's she just comes. got a little electric switch. When it pushes this, it shuts the pump shuts off. Shuts the, oh, right on. Yeah. Same setup, only this bottom thing's got an electric switch on it. So she's coming up now. There it is, yeah. God, that's, yeah, that's slick. Yeah, if this had been sitting here yesterday, we would have been... Yeah. Yeah, the trailer was on the other job. Yeah. And then, of course, I didn't have my camera uh, yesterday evening, just about where this big tree is. Uh, coyote just come running right down the road like it was a dog lost got to just about to that tree and then booked out that way okay so just to make sure that my mark is left when I take off I uh, been putting my stickers around and there's a uh, another logging outfit just down the road here <laughs> stopped I put one on their skitter so let's see what happens with that we're gonna go up here and do the skitter now. Okay, there's sticker number two. We take a little look at stumps. Uh, 748 G, I believe. Nice looking rig, I tell you that. Holy crap. Radio. Yeah, it's a, it's a decent machine. I could I could spend a little time on this. Oh yeah, we 
we should be, like I said, they're just starting this. Hey, anyway, he's just starting this block here. Uh, I guess they got a half a day in Friday or whatever. Uh, they should be, I guess, you know, have everything put together and ready to really start going at it here by midday today. So then we'll start getting some pretty good videos. Okay, so um, I wasn't uh, informed about this, but these are for snake bites because they're snakes that'll bite you. Nobody said anything about no nasty ass snakes. Now I'm a little worried. No, thank you. I will get a little video of oh, Pa loading this morning. Tight little landing, really. But like I say, just got we just. I guess they got a half a day or something in it up here Friday, and then uh, yesterday, and me coming in in the middle of the day kind of slowed them down and whatnot. So whole different ball game. I mean, completely different. And just a little bit of time I was here yesterday, and. Um, you know the different grades and then so on on the uh, hardwood it, it's definitely going to be a very a very good learning experience and, and already is all uh, you know starting to be an amazing adventure and, and it never never hurts to learn so uh, yeah I'm definitely in for it Hopefully by the end of the day today we can get up on the hill here with Kim and uh, I guess most of this is going to be fell with with Kimmy and then uh, what's too big will be fell by hand. Uh, quite a bit of this side of goes too. I don't know exactly where the line is, but I walked. Oh boy, we went way out in there yesterday with his uh, what I would 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 call a forester. Anyway, there's some there's some nice size hardwood over there. Straight. Oh my God! Like, oh God. Hey, you guys. Ah, uh, yeah, 40. You know, between 40 and, and 60 feet tall. No crooks, no bends. Just straight stove. You know, stovepipe hardwood. All right, I gotta help this gentleman for a second. Alright, we'll get a little more ball loading here. Just putting some uh, hydraulic fluid in Kimmy after she blew a hose, so. Oh, oh wow, he's pretty fluid on that thing. I got on it yesterday and it is absolutely 100% opposite of what I'm used to, so. I look like a couple of retarded quails trying to have sex. Yeah, oh wow, he, uh... I've ever been away from home like this I always make 
communication, you know, contact with her first thing in the morning and, and then whatnot. And so yeah, Stump and Lori, they were like, did you really call her? And it was uh, 2.15 or something like that. And I said, oh, absolutely. If I wouldn't have it, she would have just been an absolute uh, train wreck all day, you know, being worried. So, but it's, you know, that's the way it makes her feel better that, you know, that I've made contact with her. So, it, it'll be a little tough. We'll be all right. Time to go to work. Coming alive. <laughs> oh, we got a leak. We got a leak. Hold up, Pa.